Today is December 14th, 2020. My name is Charles Souter. I'm presenting part nine of my decision-making series titled Simplifying Decisions. My main message is that decisions are easier to make when they're simplified. Most people fail to make timely decisions when the decision is just too complex for them to have confidence in their choice. So when decisions are laden with uncertainty, or the likely outcomes are not to your liking or require difficult inputs to implement, to get past the blockage and avoid procrastination, you must find ways to simplify your decision. So I'm going to start off right away defining a simplified decision process. Six steps. First step, define a desired end state. This is a goal, uh, something off in the future that you're aiming for. Clarify the benefits expected. Define at least three options to, to achieve. If you have more than three options and you can't narrow it down to three, you're not ready to make a decision yet. Number four, define an action plan for each option. Now this is just basically a top level without any of the details. Five, assess each option's chance of success. Not every option is equally implementable. And then six, pick the option with the highest confidence of success. Notice I didn't say pick the option with the highest benefit because the desired end state um, benefits are already defined and relatively fixed. I didn't say pick the one with the with that's easiest to implement, I said pick the one with the highest confidence of success. So let me dive into proposition one. Follow a proven process to make good decisions. As I've already stated, every decision has a beginning and end point, and uh, decisions are a lot like chess. There are a lot of moves that can be made, and a couple of moves down in the game, you're going to be in a different beginning position. You can choose where you begin. You don't have to begin right where you are. More about that later. Every decision represents a change of some kind. Basically, you're moving from where you are now, a beginning state, to some future end state. This is change. Most people say they don't like change, but obviously this is a change that's desired or you wouldn't be considering it. Finally, every decision must be acted upon with a plan. If a decision is not executed, it's not really a decision. So to recap, complex decisions tend to have many unknowns, causing the potential uncertainty of outcomes. The implementation of decisions often experience some glitches or hidden costs that could render a, a less than desired outcome. To overcome the challenge of a complex decision, you must simplify it. Make reasonable assumptions about both the cost of implementation, and now this includes time, effort, and aggravation, beneficial outcomes, and their relative probabilities. Ask yourself probing questions and try to answer them. Do the probable benefits seem like they are worth the probable costs? What information must I get to reduce the uncertainty, and where can I get it? going to refer you back here now to what I consider to be the simplest of all decisions. These are yes-no decisions. Notice that the simplified decision process ends with step number six, pick the option with the highest confidence. That doesn't necessarily mean that you run out and implement it. Now you're faced with a yes or no decision. And after some contemplation and some incubation, you have a decision to make whether to implement. Yes, accept this decision option and implement it. No, reject this decision option. Or three, something interjacent in between. Accept, but modify the decision option in some way that makes it better. Proposition two, this is a recap again. A simple decision, or the simplest decision, is a yes or no decision. Once you've picked an option, the next step is to decide whether or not to execute it, yes or no. If yes, 
Then ask if the decision or the, ch the choice can be improved. Just remember, modifications and improvements can be made at any time in both the end state, desired end state, where you want to end up, or the implementation plan to get there. To give you some more details, the simplest decisions are based on a yes or no proposition. Once you've made a choice, you must next choose whether or not to commit to ex execution. Give yourself time to allow the decision to incubate so your subconscious mind can dwell on it. Your preferred option can be modified at any time if you find a better way, so stay flexible. Focus on the desired end and let it dictate the means. If the starting point for your chosen option is not advantageous to your chances of success, you can choose to defer the decision until you can move your starting point to greater advantage. Of course, how to move your starting point is another decision. How to reposition your starting point is uh, just said another decision. So in effect, you have divided a more complex decision into multiple simpler ones. Once you've selected your default option, you can begin thinking about how to improve it or how best to reposition your starting point to a, affect a greater chance of success. Proposition three, if you still can't decide, then simplify some more. If you can't limit your options to three, as I've said already, you're not ready to decide. If you're still uncertain, then get advice from three experts with experience. Make sure you pick a default option and pick a deadline to commit. Otherwise, the decision just keeps rolling downhill until the decision makes itself or overcome by events. When the choice is not obvious, pick a seemingly good enough default option so you don't agonize over the decision. Most often, the, dis the default option is to wait and see which is a decision to keep the status quo until such time as you find a better option or, in the, or implementation plan. Meanwhile, as you're waiting, gather more information or seek expert assistance. My final message, simplify, simple decisions have simple actions and sure outcomes. Only a few decisions you face require more information or more analysis. Most of the decisions that you must make are trivial in both input required or consequences of outcomes. You can make the easier decision on the spot intuitively with your own personal preferences and value judgment. So save yourself decision making grief by quickly deciding all the routine decisions you must make daily whose outcomes are trivial. Then simplify the hard decisions using the methods just presented. That's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.